Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to what this video is going to be about. It is along the lines of the tagging uh, controversy and this is me in January 2014 in South Africa. I had gone there in pursuit of the Osearch story. I had been told about the injuries and even mortalities supposedly inflicted upon the sharks there and went to see if it was true. And when I got there, there was a split between the researchers who had gotten to work with Osearch, who had positive things to say, and then there was everyone else who had much different things to say. And in this particular clip, I'm in Mossel Bay. I have a lot of clips like this, um, so don't think this is the only one. And in this case, the boat captain is explaining to me what I'm witnessing around me, which were multiple uh, spot tagged sharks at the boat that day. And he was letting me know what was going on with those tags. Coming. Get under there, bud. What age was that shark? Well, she was around about the two and a half meters when, when she got that. But there you could see the, the bolts are through, the fins growing. I was just bending the whole fin. And it's garbage, so it will stay that way. You know, it's just messing up that whole shark's fin. But the information is important. What information? Tell me. Oh, well, what are we getting? Oh, I've got nothing new from it, to be honest. Is, it doesn't, doesn't help us at all. Is that satellite tagging and transmitting? That one does, it's not tagging anymore. Well, it doesn't transmit. I think it, it only transmitted for the first year. So now this one's been up for another year, year and a bit. You can not transmit it. You can tell that just from the group? Or they... No, no, you go, go go on, on, on Osearch website. Oh. There is no shark in Mossel Bay that pings anymore. None. None. And this one is here. Well, there, there, there's your proof. There's your proof. Go on the website. It doesn't transmit. Here you have it. Oh, is that shark vanished? How could they not know that it's going to get covered in that? They do. They do not. They do. All right, so that was a pretty short clip. Before I continue with the rest of them, let me know if you have questions about what you saw and what questions you'd like answered in future videos. Something I would like you to ponder between now and the next video is that those tags were placed in 2012. It is now 2019. And I understand, you know, you don't get all your results overnight, but it's been a long time. And in the meantime, we have had white sharks disappear from two of the three major locations down there, and they haven't been coming back. I mean, it looks like it's a lot worse than just orcas chasing them away temporarily. And the Natal Sharks Board continues to kill white sharks every single year. And we have three new longline contracts from foreign countries taking place off of that cape. I would like to know what data from any studies taking place down there indicate that it's a good idea for longlining to be increased in these waters. Which animals are doing so well that we should actually increase longlining, which has already decimated many of the species there. Should have also included that one of the justifications for using these invasive tagging methods of pulling them onto the deck of the boat and drilling these things into the dorsal fins is that by bolting them on, they would last for five years and give us unprecedented data. Well, this is less than two years. So the score from that expedition so far is that we have many sharks damaged, permanently damaged, I might add, and they swore it wouldn't be permanent damage, but you can clearly see from the video that it was permanent. Um, some sharks killed, it's debated exactly how many, but um, there were some, uh, at least one that died on camera, undenied. And we also have no increase in protection for those sharks, and we actually have a decrease in general protection to marine life on the shoreline. Anyways, let me know your thoughts.